Today I will show you how I altered this sky without replacing it with any other image. First you notice in the photo is the horizon a bit slanted. So using the rotate tool I am going to straighten it. Auto straighten has worked well here. Next for some basic tuning in tune image menu. Increasing the shadows for some details in the darker areas. Reducing the highlights for more details in the sky. Now for some selective filters to darken the surroundings of the structure. Starting here on these bright rocks. Decreasing the brightness on this. Also on the water here. on the building where I am going to add more structure. One in the blue sky here. Reducing the brightness and adding more saturation. This may not be needed but still. Now I am going to use the healing tool to remove this bright reflection of the sun at the bottom. One other alternative is to crop it out if needed. Select a filter to darken it a bit to match it with the surroundings. One here on the water also to darken that part. Now I am going to add a dark vignette with vintage filter. Choosing the black theme option with default settings. I am going to now turn this to black and white again with default settings and apply it. Going back to the vintage filter effect we applied for a little masking work there. Just removing some darkness around the horizon here. Now using curves I am going to darken the overall image and adding more contrast to get a bright light on the horizon. To remove the white spots in the foreground using curves again and dragging the top point down to turn the image completely black. Now going to masking screen and brushing on the foreground to turn those white spots to black. Now to give color to the horizon part in curves adding a little more brightness. Yellows by dragging the blue curve towards right and some reds to get the orange tone. Saving this as a separate copy. Now going back to the vintage filter effect. Using double exposure I am going to add the saved image with add more selected. 
As you can see the horizon lighting up with the evening colors. To get warmer colors on other parts in white balance menu adding more temperature. Now for some dodging with the brush tool. Just brushing on the structure to pop it a bit. Going back to masking screen in double exposure and brushing out the bright edges which looks a bit unnatural. Also decreasing the opacity a bit to reduce the intensity of the bright horizon. Image looks too sharpened, so going to details menu and reducing the structure. In the masking screen, just making sure the effect is brushed out on the building. You can still notice these distracting bright sunlit spots which we need to remove. We'll be using healing tool for that. Zooming into the maximum and brushing on them which works pretty well here. We don't need these effects at the top, could have removed them earlier too. Tuning the contrast for some finishing touch with curves. So here's the final result. Hope you found some useful tricks here. Thanks for watching.